Hi YouTubers, today we're going to do a Green Bay Packers nail design tutorial. Um, my last tutorial I did was for the Pittsburgh Steelers, the NFL, and also the Miami Dolphins, which is my home team. I chose not to do the Packers because I thought since I was rooting for the Steelers, I didn't want to cause any bad luck to them for having put Packers on my fingernails as well. But anyways, I'm going ahead now. Congratulations to the Green Bay Packers. They won the Super Bowl this year, 2011. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a quick nail tutorial for the Green Bay Packers. Um, I quickly had to take off the losing team's uh, nail polish. So my nails have been uh, cleaned of all previous nail polish and designs. I washed them and dried them. I applied already one coat of a gloss, clear gloss, top base coat type nail polish and I'm going to go ahead and apply a second coat of the clear gloss to my nails. I'll do that really quickly. And when I do that I'm going to let it dry. Okay YouTubers, so now I went ahead and I did two coats of the clear gloss nail polish and I'm letting it dry. I have Bright Green by LA Colors. These are the Nail Art Deco with the very thin nail art brush as you can see here. I'll show you. It's a very thin brush. I have Bright Green, Yellow, and I have White by Kiss. It's the same. LA Colors also makes a white. I just happen to have this white and I haven't purchased the LA Colors one yet so when I start to run out. Um, you can get LA Colors for a dollar a piece, believe it or not, at Family Dollar, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, and um, several other places. But if you go to LAColors.com, uh, you can ask them and put in your email address, and they will send you back an email for your location with your zip code as to where you can pick these up. Uh, but I know that so far the Dollar General um, that I had been to, they seem to only carry the same... Uh, colors. It seems to be like yellow and and green and they have white and they have black and they have silver glitter and regular silver and they have magenta and intense pink which I just happened to pick up the intense pink tonight. But anyways, we're doing Green Bay Packer nails. This is why I never talk on my videos because I tend to ramble on. So but you need the clear, bright green, yellow, and white. I just did these clear and I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to paint the nail yellow. If you have a regular yellow, go ahead and use it. Don't worry about using the little art brush. It can it's much easier and quicker if you do it with regular yellow. And this is going to need at least two or three coats because it's a very very light yellow. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take, um, go get some logos for your team logo. Go to Google.com, click on images, type on Packers images. I got a G. I don't know if you can see that. Um, what I did was I made it small enough so that it would fit on my nails, and I was able to cut it out with a scissor, or you can use a hole punch if it's small enough where it will fit inside the hole punch. You can cut them out. Uh, and then I only need two. I cut out an extra one just in case. And I've already polished my nails twice. These are two coats of the yellow. I did a coat of clear after on clean dry nails. Did a coat of clear, two coats of clear, then two coats of yellow. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to put on a third coat and then we're going to begin with the nail design. So I'm going to go ahead and put on a third coat of yellow. If you have a yellow that covers better, you might not need three coats. But this particular yellow is a little uh, sheer. And it's coming out a little more iridescent. You know, sheer than I want to. And I could, you know, almost see right through it. Okay, so now we have actually three coats of yellow. I wanted to make sure that they are 
very yellow. We're going to take our bright green or dark green color and I'm only going to do the middle nail just to show you. I'm going to start about halfway there on the top of the cuticle and draw a diagonal line making a triangle down the nail. Of course you want to make it as straight as possible. Okay, then I'm going to take my white, and you always want to shake up your polish. So I'm shaking up the polish, I'm taking my white, and I'm going to carefully outline my green. So I got one stripe going that way. And one stripe going that way. Okay, and I'm going to let this dry. And then we're going to apply our logo. You're going to take our clear gloss nail polish because this is our glue for our logo. I'm going to, I like mine evenly, I don't like blobs, so I paint the whole nail with the clear and with my orange stick I carefully pick up the logo in the direction that I want it placed on my nail and I put it down on my nail and I keep working it with the stick trying to get it to stay down evenly so none of the edges stick up as the polish is drying, I just keep pushing, pushing, playing, and eventually I pretty much will get it all seated quite nicely into the nail. You can also ro roll the logo around the orange stick making it the curve of your nail so that it'll stick even better. I have it pretty much evenly placed on the nail and when I'm happy with the placement I leave it alone and I let it dry. Once it dries I'll seal it with another two coats of clear and we'll come back to that just as soon as it's dry. Okay, so now I put the logo on and it's dry. I'm going to take a coat of clear and I'm going to go over the top of the nail. And I'm going to try to just one quick swoop over it and for a while while the clear gloss goes over the paper. Some inks will bleed if you don't set them first with an acrylic sealer. Um, they sell that in spray form. However, uh, my inkjet printer does not seem to run. When I put the clear gloss polish over, it sort of makes the logo, the white paper and the logo gray. But then it seems to um, dissipate as it dries and the logo will pop right up. So I'm going to let that dry, and there you have it, 
the Green Bay Packers logo nail.